Sup everybody, this is Chris, formerly known as CJ23MJ on this YouTube channel, but now known as the Big Blue Baller. Uh, it's been a minute since we've uploaded a video on here, but we're finally back. So, uh, I think it was back in like September, October when this game was coming out, and I'm just like, yo, I'm back, making some 2K videos, what's up? And then I stopped making 2K videos after like a few weeks because I kind of got bored of this game, to be honest. Uh, my team, to me, the mode just kind of felt like a rehash of last year's mode in 2K19. So I really didn't feel like playing the game. <laughs> so I didn't play the game, I didn't make videos for it. However, I was still making YouTube videos, but it was on a different channel. If you go ahead, check the link in the description. Uh, the main Big Blue Baller YouTube channel, I upload tips on, you know, like life advice, basically how to save money, how to cook for yourself, how to move, how to make friends in a new city, living life in Dallas, Texas, which is where I'm at now. Uh, I'm talking about other things on the channel as well, different different topics, uh, and there's not really one, one set niche or topic that I've been discussing on there, but just overall general advice that I have for everybody. I also have like college tips, exam tips, traveling, etc. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, that's great. But you know what? That's not what this video is about. This is some 2K. And yeah, like I said, we're back with some NBA 2K20. Now why the heck did I decide to get back on this game? Well, I decided, you know, I don't know, like you ever like step away from 2K for a few months and then it just feels like something's missing from your life, you know? Like there's that there's that little piece of you that feels kind of empty. You're missing you're missing your uh, basketball fix. Um, now it's not to say I wasn't watching basketball or playing basketball, but I haven't been playing the game, and I was missing some 2K, and I was like, heck, why not? Let's just jump back on here, play some online matches, and then I was like, hey. Let's go ahead and try out this My League thing again. So I decided to do the start today. And real quick, I just want to point on the screen. I I don't understand. <laughs> like, I've been away from the franchise modes in 2K for a few years now. And like, I don't, I didn't realize you could go over 100 for a three point rating. As you can see, Justin Jackson with a 102, Maxi Kleber with a 113, and Porzingis with a 114. I don't know if that's weighted because they're big men. I mean, I guess Justin Jackson's not a big man, but yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, if somebody could explain to me if you know why their three-point ratings are shown as above 99, maybe it's a glitch. I have no idea. But, anyways, yeah, I started a my league mode here uh, halfway through the season. We just finished up All Star break, and using the start today feature. And for those of you that don't know what that is, um, it, it means exactly what it says. You start today, so we're starting today. In the middle of the NBA season, I played this game on the 28th, so last week Thursday. I believe today that I'm recording this, it's March 1st, uh, right before the Mavericks take on, I believe they're, they're playing mm, the, either the Hornets or the Wolves, I can't remember. But anyways, I figured I'd go ahead and kind of play these games at the same pace that the Mavericks are playing these opponents in real life and just kind of try out 2K and get a feel for it, kind of ease back into it uh, until we start playing it regularly again. Maybe I'll jump back into my team this summer, we'll see. But as of right now, I don't really feel like touching any of the online modes, just because I was really disappointed with the way the Play Now tournament was held. So yeah, we're not gonna touch that right now. We're just gonna stick to this offline My League stuff. I really love the franchise modes and it's been forever since I've even touched them, like I said. I really like the old school, like 2K11, 2K12 associations. Those were pretty fun. But uh, anyways, getting into the game here, going up against the Miami Heat. Now in real life, uh, last Thursday, the Mavs lost to the Heat by, I believe it was eight points. And yeah, unfortunate loss because the Mavs need every one that they can get here, sitting at the seventh seed in the Western Conference. Um, I believe the C below them is the Grizzlies, and they have a losing record right now, so Mavs are still looking okay, uh, but if they really want to secure that playoff spot, they definitely need to get these games on the road against some tough opponents, and the Miami Heat, as you see Jimmy Butler throwing the fingers out there, oh man, yeah, they are, they are definitely a tough team to face off against, Jimmy Butler, the soul of that team, 
And then you got Bam Adebayo uh, at center, and this is his first year as an all-star. You got Goran Dragic, you got Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Kendrick Nunn. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of stars on that team. But anyways, a rematch of the 2011 NBA Finals, not featuring Dirk or LeBron. We got Luka out there, and yeah, like I said, a little bit rusty with the 2K. <laughs> I played some terrible defense in this game. Uh, I'm on Hall of Fame difficulty, by the way. Just, just from my memory, uh, this game wasn't very difficult on Superstars, so I just said, why not? Let's just throw it on Hall of Fame. If I lose by 100 points or so, I lose by 100 points or so. But as you can see right there, I got really bailed out on that make. Uh, almost turned the ball over going back court, and then we threw it up ahead to Finney Smith. But man, poor Zingus in this game. Dude, I thought I was going to be scoring most of my points with Luka, but poor Zingus is a freaking beast. He's like 10 times as good in 2K as he is in real life. The man hits so many threes, can dunk on so many people. You'd think he's a mix of like Shaq and Steph Curry out here. I don't get it, but... Ooh, man, look at Jimmy Butler. All right. Yeah, as you can see, bad start. Uh, like I said, I can't play any defense in this game at all. And I kept trying to run picks at the start, like in the first quarter, because I don't know the playbooks. And this pick and pop was working to perfection because for whatever reason, the 2K CPU defense is complete trash, or at least for the Miami Heat. I don't know if it's like this for every team. Like I said, I haven't played in a while. And that defense was complete trash. Uh, <laughs> Playing some terrible off-ball D. Here we go with the pick and pop, pick and roll again. Got to get him right back with that dunk. Nice alley-oop to Kristaps Porzingis, a.k.a. the Porzingoat. Luka Doncic trying to cross up Goran Dragic. Here we go again. Pick and pop all day, every day. Ooh, look at that jumper, though. Oh, man. I love that animation right there. That is one thing that I think 2K has improved on is the way the animations look the different shooting and dunking animations i remember in the past you you'd get like the same three to five dunk animations all the time and goodness gracious phineas smith trying to murder the other team there and then here on the fast break getting the green release for the jumper looking smooth and here we are again finney smith just running like wild andre iguodala with that one three-pointer you just never expect him to make but of course he puts it down Running the pick and pop now with J.J. Barea and Maxi Cleaver. J.J. Barea here is going to come into the second quarter. Uh, sorry, late first quarter, early second quarter. Absolutely balling. And Porzingis, dude. Oh, my gosh. So, I was just complimenting 2K on their improved animations for shooting and all. But that was some of the most wild Eurostep animation I've ever seen in my life. I don't know, man. Sometimes it looks great. Other times it looks like complete crap. And here we go again. Ooh, J.J. Barea with the cross-up on Goran Dragic. <laughs> Man, this isn't 2011 J.J. Barea. We're talking 2020 J.J. Barea out here. Pick and pop again. Kristaps Porzingis. Green lights all day. Three-pointer. And we now have the lead with four points in the second quarter here. Again, I don't understand the CPU defense in this game. You'd think they'd adjust. And right here, I'm showing you guys I'm changing my play calling to auto instead of manual uh like i said i keep saying like i said a million times i'm not going to re-record this by the way we're just going unedited as i'm making new moves all over the place i need to get back into the swing of this thing if i try re-recording this like 10 times um it's just never going to get uploaded so we're just going to roll with it jj brea showing off jelly fam and ooh, i mean okay so see this is why i turn on the auto play call like, the plays were actually decent. Here we go again. Chris House Porzingis, green lights, wide open for three. It wasn't really, a, I mean, it was a pick and pop, but not in the sense of, a, of the standard pick and pop play, because we had two screens coming in for JJ Brea. So a little bit of a, little bit of a change up. And right here, okay. I don't know how that didn't get turned over. This is Hall of Fame difficulty, and those full court passes never work. So the fact that that pass even got completed, that's probably like one in a million right there. And speaking one in a million, Kristaps Porzingis getting doubled here. J.J. Brea finally coming back to join us on this side of the court. And Tim Hardaway Jr. missing the three. But look, give him, give him a little jab step. He learned something from Melo while he was in New York. 
getting that contested three to fall down up by 10 here now halfway through the second quarter coming back with another auto double screen play for us this time finney smith getting the cut to the basket in the jam looking solid so far this doesn't really feel like the hall of fame difficulty of previous 2ks i was making so many mistakes on offense at times where i felt like i should have gotten a turnover or i did get a turnover but then you know the opposing team comes down on the other end and just blows a wide open layup and i remember in previous 2ks even dating back to like 16 and 17 not even that long ago you know you, you turn the ball over you make a silly pass like not even one that leads to a turnover but just just the slightest bit of a mistake and the other team is penalizing you for it is Luka Doncic getting green lights out here as well eating up that salad green salads for days now we got Willie Cauley Stein in here Boban we're, we're leaving Boban out for now Boban's our secret weapon you know we want to we want to keep him injury free for the playoffs because, yeah, Boban's a monster. You're going to see towards the end of the game, it's going to be Boban time eating up the Miami Heat. Willie Cauley-Stein, though, um, another one of those players that plays better in 2K than real life. Not to, not to, you know, not to hate on the guy. You know, not to hate on N any NBA player, really, because even to be in the NBA, you have to be at least somewhat decent at basketball. So can't really hate. Plus, you know, it's my team. Uh, for those of you that don't know since i'm living in dallas i have you know taken up being a dallas mavericks fan mavs fan for life hashtag mffl even got a shirt so you know where mffl's out here and right here ooh, beautiful pass tim hardaway jr with the and one up by 13 now in the third quarter we haven't managed to quite pull away yet but got a decent enough lead where i'm feeling pretty comfortable then again we don't know what that hall of fame cheese is going to be looking like as you can see bomb out of bio getting the contested three-pointer from the corner so we got to come right back at them of course we're not just gonna let them get away with a simple one like that Luka Doncic coming down easily driving past Goran Dragic so yeah anyways we are up here by 10 points Luka again it's Luka time now I had 30 points with Porzingis at halftime and I figured it was time to give some other players a chance because it's getting way too easy to score and here we are again beautiful defense by curry on jimmy butler running the fast break luca he doesn't even have to cross anybody up he's just kind of kind of stroll into the paint throw the pass to kleber easy slams we're getting close to pulling away now halfway through the quarter the third quarter iggy passing off to none we're running some what was that football play called uh the i was about to say the skippity do but that's definitely not what that is the flea flicker the double reverse solo whammo thing i don't know man i don't know football luca with the heat check hitting the three and we're up by 22 now pulling away i don't know what run we're on but we've scored at least the past five buckets here poor zingus with the easy drive kelly olenic forgot he was playing basketball and lets him get to the hoop easy steals for luca Doncic. i don't even think i hit the button getting some more points as you can see we're pretty easily getting up to 30 as well trying to match Porzingis here you know Luca's in the running for MVP we can't just not score with him as he drives by Kendrick Nunn getting another dunk dunks for days for Luca today with that 7-eleven gas station manager body and Porzingis with the rebound Luca again up by 22 still here in the third trying to cross up Nunn they're gonna go ahead for the double team. Tim Hardaway Jr. wide open. Easy green lights from the corner. You know, I feel like it's Hall of Fame difficulty. Something like uh, being able to read double teams should be something not allowed on the hardest difficulty. Maybe it's a badge that I don't know about. I don't even know half the badges in this game. So for all I know, oh my goodness, Willie Cauley Stein. Oh, I forgot about that dunk. Um, yeah, for all I know, that's just a badge in the game that lets you see double teams, because the only person getting double teamed this entire game, from my memory, was Luka. So, I could be wrong. I could be just talking complete nonsense. But, oh man, the connection. J.J. Barea to Willie Cauley-Stein. This is the new Wob City here in Dallas. Passing off to DeLon right in the corner. I believe that was his only bucket of the game. And he's a solid star. Like, not star, sorry. He's a solid role player, DeLon Wright. Uh, coming out of Memphis, I believe he got traded last season. 
really good pickup for the Mavs. And um, yeah, honestly, he's, oh man, look at this cut right here. Sorry, I got to interrupt myself. Willie Colby Stein coming in again. Beautiful. And Solomon Hill driving to the basket, trying to pass the Bam out of bio, getting nothing. And see, this is what I mean. This is Hall of Fame difficulty. How am I able to get away with this and then hit this shot? Honestly, I wouldn't even blame you guys if you said you didn't believe me that was on Hall of Fame difficulty. Because, uh, I don't know. Those shots shouldn't be going in. That's ridiculous. This is, this is Michael Kidd Gilchrist we're talking about. The ugliest jump shot in NBA history right behind Chuck Hayes. Uh, so, I don't know how any of his shots went in. But here we are. It's finally Boban time. We're up by over 40 points in the fourth quarter. So... I mean, yeah, and I don't know why, I, I promise, I put Boban in at center, I didn't put him in at point guard, but numerous times, we'd witness Boban being guarded by Goran Dragic, and then occasionally it would be uh, Derek Jones Jr., the dunk contest champion as well. But yeah, I mean, I just I decided to fool around here, we got Boban time, give him the little, little up and under, pass it back out, give it back into him, Derek Jones Jr., you are way too small, my man. Easy buckets for days. It's like you're not even there. Oh man, behind the back. Spin move. Picking it up. Easy buckets. Trying to get that 50 point win here. As you can see, we are up by 46. Uh, so not much more that we have to get, but we do have only 30 seconds left to get two more buckets and a stop. Boban dunking all over Derek Jones Jr. Showing him who the real dunk champion is. And here it is, down by, or up by 49. And of course, it has to be Andre Iguodala. He just had to ruin the 50 point win. So disappointing. So, honestly, this feels more like a loss than a win. Only winning by 49 points on Hall of Fame difficulty. Uh, we should have gotten the 50 point win. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still new to this mode. Or at least new as of this year. I haven't played at all, really. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything at all. Um, you're talking about things like the three-point rating at the beginning of this video. I don't really understand why how players can have over 100 or over 99. Uh, understanding the trade logic, injury logic, the CPU defense logic. Maybe there's some difficulty sliders that are more realistic. Or maybe this game just sucks. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments down below. We're gonna keep doing these, whether I win by 50 or lose by 50. Uh, we're just gonna have a swell of time. Now most of these videos, I, I don't think they'll reach 20 minutes long. Uh, they'll probably be shorter than that, but we'll see. And then I'll also have online gameplays recorded and just talk basketball over them. And I have been thinking about putting them in podcast format as well for anybody that doesn't feel like watching 2K gameplay or opening up YouTube, you can open up your Spotify instead. Th these are just ideas. I'm for sure going to be doing the 2K My League Dallas Maverick gameplays. You're going to be seeing at least two or three a week since the Mavericks play at least two or three games a week in real life. So look out for that. Otherwise, we'll have a few basketball skits coming up as well for March Madness and a few other basketball tournaments and events that happen on an annual basis. And you'll get to see my face. Although you could also see my face if you smash the like button and check out the main YouTube channel, Big Blue Baller. Links in the description where I go over life advice, like I said at the beginning of this video, going over things like college exam tips, cooking your own food, saving money moving tips etc you should check it out it's some great stuff hope you all enjoyed the video hope you all enjoyed the return let me know what you all think again smash the like button to help me out with the youtube algorithm go ahead and subscribe if you're completely new to this channel and to all of my big blue ballers out there let's get that bread and i will see you all on the next one